Stuff.com and YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to install Websploit version 2.0.4. Um, so with 2.0.4, there's a three new modules. It, it, there aren't that many, but one of them is to create a honeypot um, using Websploit. So what a honeypot does is, well, it creates basically a fake router that for other for other um, people to connect to thinking that maybe it's a different one or something like that um, that's actually called an evil twin um, method when you copy another wireless router to make it look like you're them so then everyone connects to you instead um, then you could jam that router so that no one connects to that one so when their devices stop trying they just go to yours instead I would assume it could work like that so right now I just opened up Websploit, so you just type in Websploit into your Kali Linux um, box, which is just what I'm running right now in a virtual machine. Um, I showed a recent tutorial on how to install it, if you want to check that out, if you do not have Kali Linux installed at the moment. Um, but you just have to open up the terminal and type in Websploit, and you have the framework open. So now what we're going to do is type in Upgrade, and it says New Version Available. It's going to download. It's going to automatically open Ice Weasel and download the source. And that's going to try and start. It will probably start. There we go. And it's going to ask you to save it. So you just click OK. And I already have it saved. So I'm just going to hit cancel. See, it's right there. So I hit cancel. Um, just exit out of this and this will close. So right now you can just exit and now you're in your root directory and uh, sorry, let's let me remove the other packages so it doesn't interfere with this install And there we go. Okay, so now you're going to type in this tar x for extract f for file name two two quotations because there's no uh, underscores to connect or dashes to connect the words of like Messpoint and framework and the versions. So you have to put it all into, uh, between quotations. Press enter. It's going to extract everything. And now what we're going to do is go into easy install. I have to put two quotations again because, um, well, same reason. Just ask to see what's inside. And I'm gonna do. So now that you have, you're in this directory. You don't really, ha you don't uh, type in install yet. What you have to actually do is app get remove websploit. It's gonna want to, yeah, just remove website. Um, you yours is probably going to want to remove Websploit, Kali Linux, Kali uh, dash Linux, and Kali dash Linux dash full. Um, that's okay. You can just remove those two. Just click yes. It's going to remove everything, or try to. It's okay if those stay. And there we go. So it finishes. So now that's removed. If you go into another terminal and type in websploit it's not going to know what that is so you just exit up there so now what you're going to do is going to sh and install, you're going to install now the version 2.0.4 just click enter sh, sorry And it's going to install everything, and that's all done. You just clear out of that. And now if you type in Websploit, it's going to open this. And you have, now have nine, 19 modules, and you're on the newer version. Okay, so from here you can upgrade. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to upgrade. I wanted to update. There we go. And for some reason, exits, but you can just uh, go back into it. 
So now show the modules because there's a couple of new ones. There's I'm not sure. I know the, these two are new. These two are new, and I believe this one is new as well. I haven't tried out this one or the Bluetooth one, but the Honeypot one, I believe, works pretty well. So I'm going to use Wi-Fi slash Wi-Fi underscore Honeypot. Enter. I'm now into it. Um, if you were to just install Websploit 2.0.4 without uninstalling it first, then this command right here wouldn't work. It would just get you out. Um, it would just get you out of Websploit. So when I did the update here, it would update everything, blah, blah, blah. So basically, now replace the update command with this one, and this will happen. It just pops up, and just for some reason it kicks you out. Um, I tried to fix it a different way, um, but that didn't work, so I just uninstalled it and reinstalled it with the new one, so that seemed to work. So now you can do is show options, and you can have the, what the interface is. So because, like I said before, this is a virtual box, um, and I don't have a wireless card connected, I can't actually do this attack, but I'm just going to show you how to set it up. So the interface, it has to be default by, uh, has to default this, or you can change it to whatever you want just by typing in set interface. And then, like, when one, and it's going to change it to that. It doesn't actually check if you have that or not. So that's a little problem, but it's okay. You just have to know you do. See, it changes it to LAN 1. You can also set the SSID to what you want. Let's say you're beside a home network, and it's called Poka Stuff, because that's a great home network. You can call it that. And you can now show options again. And now change it to that. You can change the channel, the MAC address, the output where it logs everything. It logs into a text file, and the encryption. So you can do unencrypted, or whichever encryption you want. WEP. I don't know why anyone would choose that. And then all you do is run. Click. Type in run, and then it should run. Now, if you wanted to um, jam someone else's network. Just click back, because right now it's not running. But uh, a couple of windows would pop up, and it would say a bunch of different things. You don't really have to worry about that. It would just start running and start logging uh, people's connections and things that are happening with the server. So now you're back into the WebSploit mainframe place. You can show modules. And right now you have Wi-Fi Jammer and Wi-Fi DOS attack. I'm not really sure what the difference is between these two. Uh, denial of service is what DOS stands for. Um, I think this is for a specific computer and this is for an entire Wi-Fi. So let's try the one for the entire Wi-Fi. So use Wi-Fi slash Wi-Fi underscore jammer and show options. Okay, so yeah. So because this is wireless again, you need a wireless card to record this, uh, sorry, to run this. Um, but because this is just a lot simpler for me to record this on my desktop than it is on my laptop, which has Kali uh, Linux run in as its operating system. So it's kind of harder to record that because also it doesn't have a microphone jack for me to plug my microphone into. So then here, same thing, you change the channel to your target's channel. So what you do here is to find which um, which uh, wireless networks you want to jam. You just type in Airmon ng. This is to put your wireless card into monitor mode. Start when LAN, uh, LAN 0. And you click enter. But mine's not there. So it wouldn't do anything. And then what you'd notice if you typed in ifconfig is that you'd have the LAN, LAN 0 connected to something. Or it has to be disconnected from a network. Um, and then you'd have monitor mode. So then what you do is air dump dump that's ng and then the mon zero and then this would pop up, it would fill the whole screen and it would show you all the wireless networks around your location that it can sense. Then you can just press control C to cancel that and then you'll have that window keep popping up there. 
then you can change if you want to jam in that work you can see it, it lists the channel lists the uh, ESSID the BSSID which is the, um, I believe that's the MAC address the ES ESSID is just the what it's called sorry um, yeah the SSID is what's called the BSSID <laughs> it's kinda confusing is what the MAC address is called so you'll see all of that there it's gonna be in columns all the information and you can just put these two beside each other and just copy the information type it in set uh, BSSID to like a1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A5. And then you can just show options again. And it would appear there. Um, does this show what a BSSID is? Sorry, I just see this here. Oh, address. Target BSSID address. Yeah, so the address says in the MAC address. Okay, and then the same thing goes for this after you're done filling all the information in. And whichever, if it says yes, if it says required, this is RQ uh, stands for required, that means yes, it's required. Uh, I don't know why the SSID isn't required. Or the BSSID. Yes, it is required. Uh, I just got kicked back. Um, as long as you have the BSSID, it knows what to look for. But you can put all of them in just so it's more accurate. So it knows where to actually look for. Then all you do is click run click enter and it's going to start again as you can see a little window popped up uh, pretty oh it's doing it again and that stops because it knows it can't connect to anything because I don't have this interface okay and then you can run those two side by side like I'll run websploit here and then you can run those two side by side and you then you can uh, start doing stuff I may remind you that it is illegal to sniff credentials as long as if you don't have the person's permission um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give a like below. And if you have any comments, comment in the description. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, click the subscribe button. Thanks. Bye.